In this Illustrator tutorial, let's take a look at how to create a donut shape. So that would be a circle with a circle cut out of the middle of it. We're going to use our ellipse tool for starters. So we're going to click on probably the rectangle tool over here in our tool panel and then find the ellipse tool. The shortcut key for that is L. Let's set it up so that we do not have a stroke. I'm going to click none on that. And we do want some kind of color. Well, we're going to make it pink. Press OK. All right, so we're gonna create a circle out here. Now, I wanna hold Shift to make sure it's a perfect circle, just like that. Now, we've got one circle. We need to create another circle on top of it. Let's go ahead and change the color of that one so that we can actually see it. We're gonna make it blue. Of course, I changed the color of the one we had selected, so we're gonna T-select that one, then double-click, change the color. We'll go back to pink. Blue will be our big circle. And we'll go to that ellipse tool again and create another smaller circle holding shift as well. Maybe something in this size, doesn't matter. And then I wanna press the V key, that's the shortcut key for the selection tool. Click and drag to select both. And then we're going to align these guys right over the top of each other. So we're gonna find the properties panel, alignment options, horizontal align center, and vertical align center. So now this guy is in the center of the bigger circle. From there, with them both still selected, if they're not, just click and drag, get them both selected. We're gonna use the Shape Builder tool. Shift M is the shortcut key, and it looks like these two circles with, uh, with a cursor on top of them. And once we have the Shape Builder tool, we're gonna actually come out here. It's gonna recognize these different parts. You can see the overlapping parts. We're gonna hold Option. It's gonna put a minus on our cursor. That's Alt on PC. And just click the center part of the donut. That will remove it out of there. And now, back to the selection tool, we actually have this donut, and it is removed. So you can see we can actually see through this piece now. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is, if you have a, these two overlapping still, you can click and drag, select both. And in our Pathfinder options, if we expand these options, there's some shape modes here. We could probably do minus front and that will subtract the shape that's in front of the other. Same thing, we're gonna undo that. What else could we do? We could probably do exclude, and that does the same thing, except it applied the color to the outer shape. So there's some options here in Pathfinder that'll get you to the same place. I just really like the Shape Builder tool because I feel like I can deal with my shapes uh, you know, by clicking on them instead of kind of guessing which Pathfinder option to use. I know exactly what I'm doing. When I have this minus on my cursor, it's going to subtract whatever I click on. So anyway, that's how to create a donut shape here in Illustrator.